To determine whether AgCl is going to be acetic, basic, or neutral in water, we'll use these rules here. So the first thing we need to do is to figure out the neutralization reaction that made the AgCl. If we have silver hydroxide, AgOH, metal in the hydroxide, that's a base, and hydrochloric acid, if these neutralize each other, they'll produce AgCl in water. It's a neutralization reaction. So we know the substances involved now we need to figure out the strengths of that acid and base. This is a really useful table to memorize. Let's see, AgOH is not on our list of strong bases, so it's not on this list, it's a weak base. HCl, right here. Hydrochloric acid, that's a strong acid. So write Sa up here so we can remember. And we have the strength of the acid in the base. Now we can use the rules. We're looking for a weak base and a strong acid acid. Here's a weak base and a strong acid. And the rules tell us pH will be less than 7, so the solution will be acetic. In answer to our question, AgCl in water, when it's dissolved, it'll be acetic. But there is one slight problem here, and that problem is that AgCl, Ag is one of those ones you want to remember, it's insoluble in water. That means it doesn't dissolve in water. What it really means, it dissolves just a little bit. So that little bit that dissolves, we would expect would make the pH be less than seven, but not much, just because not much of this is gonna be dissolved. These two react, this will be a solid, and you'll have essentially a precipitate. It'll fall to the bottom of the test tube. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.